Hey there, welcome back to DTV. I wanna to talk today to all of you small business owners who have salespeople and all of you sales managers out there. Basically, anybody who has to motivate and coach and manage a sales team. Stop using sales contests to try to manage your people. They don't work. Or at least they don't work like you think they should. Because think about this for a second. When you put together a sales promotion or a sales contest, you sell X amount in Y amount of time and you will get whatever the prize is. When you put that together, it's really just being lazy about managing and coaching your people. Because what we think is, oh, our salespeople just don't feel motivated enough. We just have to give them a bigger prize, a bigger reward to work towards. But if that was really the case, they'd already be blowing past all of their sales goals because my guess is you have some sort of compensation already tied to their performance, right? You know, whether it's a commission structure or a bonus structure, there is already a positive reinforcement to them selling, to them doing their job. So if they're not hitting those numbers now, I guarantee you it's not just a, a gift card or a set of steak knives that it is going to help them move forward. Now, does that mean that you have to get rid of sales contests completely? N not at all, they do have a place, they do have a role, but you have to be very intentional and deliberate with how you're creating your promotions and how you're creating your sales contests. Sales contests work best when they are used as a vehicle, as a tool for a sales leader, a manager, a coach, executive, to have an avenue to communicate with the salespeople about what are the best activities that will help them actually accomplish their goals. So basically, sales contests work well when they're used as ways, as excuses, to talk to your sales team over and over about some basic routines and activities that you want to see them do that you know will help them be successful. Because people get adapted to hearing the same message from you over and over again. And so what a sales contest does is it gives you a new way to talk about the same old stuff over and over again and to hopefully reinvigorate people. So it's not about giving them more rewards to move them forward, but rather it's about using these as a tool to talk about things a different way. And it also gives you a great way to provide positive reinforcement and, and some positive feedback to your people because hey, People love positive recognition. So the next time you're creating a sales contest, here's a couple things to keep in mind. Keep the sales contest very focused on a specific activity that you're trying to drive within your business. Not necessarily a result, although those are good, but rather the activity that will drive your people to that result. Keep the contest very tightly time bound. You'll find that when you have like an annual contest, they really don't do much to drive activity. But if you have a daily or a weekly one or maybe one for the month, it's a lot easier to drive action. And then finally, make sure you're talking about that sales contest. It only works as a vehicle to help drive the right activities in your organization if you're talking about it a lot. It doesn't make any sense to announce a sales contest that's for a month and you talk about it on the first of the month and then the 31st. Again, the whole point here is to use these as a way to communicate with your sales team repeatedly over the course of that sales contest. So don't be lazy, but instead use it as a really powerful tool. So tell me how your sales contests go down in the comments or hit me up on Twitter, DFishRockstar, and we'll see you next time on DTV.